Now to Campaign 2020 and a live look at Sanford, Florida, where President Trump just wrapped up a speech at his rally. It's his first since he was sidelined with this COVID diagnosis. But it does give you a good, uh, a good feeling when you can beat something and now they say you're immune. I don't know for how long. Some people say for life. Some people say for four months. And within the past few hours, we've been learning some new details on the president's condition. CBS reporter Deborah Alfaron at the White House with more. This week marks President Trump's return to the campaign trail with stops planned in four key states, beginning with Florida. It's great to be back in my home state, Florida, to make my official return to the campaign trail. I am so energized by your prayers and humbled by your support. We've had such incredible support. Less than two hours before the rally, the president's doctor released a memo saying he has tested negative for COVID on consecutive days using an Abbott test and that he is not infectious to others. Democratic nominee Joe Biden blasted President Trump's campaign trip as, quote, reckless behavior. Hello, Toledo. The former vice president hit the trail in Ohio. Times are hard. Unemployment is way up due to the pandemic and the terrible way in which it's been handled. Vote, Ohio. Vote to reelect President Donald Trump. Vice President Mike Pence also traveled to the Buckeye State. The latest CBS News Battleground Tracker poll shows Ohio as a toss up. With health care expected to be a major topic during this week's Supreme Court confirmation hearings, President Trump is getting out ahead of the conversation, tweeting promises of far better health care and coverage for pre existing conditions. But the president has yet to deliver on his 2016 campaign promise for an alternative to Obamacare. And his Democratic challenger argues his Supreme Court pick, Amy Coney Barrett, would vote to strip away the Affordable Care Act. Let's keep our eye on the ball. This is about whether or not in one less than one month, Americans are going to lose their health insurance. The Supreme Court will hear arguments challenging the Affordable Care Act one week after Election Day. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House. And former Vice President Joe Biden headed to a couple of campaign events in Florida tomorrow, while President Trump heads to Pennsylvania.